Myanmar migrant workers are flocking to the National Verification Program of Thailand as they are worried about deportation if they fail to involve in this program. Despite Myanmar President Teng Sen and major opposition political party leader Aung San Suu Kyi urged Thai government during their visits to the kingdom to solve the problems of Myanmar migrants. However, the undocumented 200,000 Myanmar workers are facing with difficulties in verification processes, overpriced service charges of brokers, abuses by their employers, and taking bribery of Thai police. Leaders of Myanmar social organizations claim that Myanmar workers have to pay between 5,000 and 8,000 baht to brokers for a verification program. This amount is much higher than the official costs collected by the two governments. Actually, they do not know the official costs for the national verification program. They have to pay the amount for service charges asked by brokers. Although migrant workers have official documents, police are taking bribes from the workers, resulting in Myanmar workers do not want to apply for the required documents. Many Myanmar migrant workers also claim a long delay in verification process despite they have paid high service charges for this. Millions of baht from Myanmar migrant workers are going to verification brokers. Both Myanmar and Thai governments are responsible for easy and quick national verification process for migrant workers. Beginning July 2009, Thai government has been issuing two-year visa for Myanmar workers with the citizenship approval of by Myanmar government. However, the existing problem for Myanmar migrant workers is the delay in this program caused by brokers and verification of Myanmar migrant workers have no experience in this process, so they have to approach to the brokers, resulting in high cost. The cost for verification process here is higher than in Myanmar. It should not be so. Brokers are dominating in this process. Another problem is that brokers give fake stay permit to workers. If Myanmar workers have the required documents, they do not need to be afraid of the officials. Statistics of Thai government shows over 1 million Myanmar workers are working in the kingdom. They are working at the 3D jobs which Thai workers do not want to do. They dare not to complain about the abuses of their employers. My name is Ong So from Myanmar. I have been working in Thailand for seven years. A job broker enticed me to work here. Although I paid 15,000 baht for service charge, I was sold to a fishing boat for one year. After one year, I moved to here. I approached to a job broker and asked me more service charges than the rate we first agreed. My name is Tazin Tui from Tanintari region. I've been working here for three years. My passport, mobile phone and 10,000 baht were robbed with my purse on the road on Sunday. Now I have no official document to show the police. I have to pay 10,000 baht to broker to get a job here. My name is Ong Nai Tu from Pantanal Township of Ayawadi region. I arrived in Mahachai on 1st January of 2006 by a small car through Renong. Me and my workers were pickled on the car. We had to pay 14,000 baht to job agents. Our factory owner does not give any compensation for injuries in the workplace. According to the official statistics, over 400,000 illegal migrants are working across Thailand. If these workers were deported to their respective countries, Thai employers may lose their workforce.
We will have to wait and see the decision of Thai cabinet, how they would come up with better solution for national verification program, which is set to expire on December 14. LPN has no authority to intervene in this process, but they just give suggestion to the government through media. Therefore, Ministry of Labor needs to have better solution rather than sending the undocumented foreign workers back to their countries. The National Verification Program in Mahachai area is one of all eight in Thailand, which provides one-stop service mainly to Myanmar immigrants seeking jobs in Thailand to reduce time and cost consuming to obtain work permits. However, the brokers are taking advantages on language barrier between Myanmar immigrants and Thai officials. There are now 97 agencies wholly owned by Thais or jointly owned by Myanmar business people, registered with Thai authorities and operating. The agencies are not needed, but they will be helpful in making the process easy for applicants at a cost they are willing to pay. But there are some of them which cheat on applicants and many staffers responsible are prosecuted or faced with fines. We are worried about swindling among Myanmar workers themselves or overpricing of service charges, which are out of Thai authorities' power to convene. My name is Cho Ma Wen from Cayenne State. To get the job in Thailand, I had to pay about 6,000 baht. I started working at a snack factory in Thailand in 2011. As I have no documents, I have to work for night shift. Our board arranged me to apply for the document through a broker. My boss will cut the cost from my salary. Although I want to go back home, I am not ready now. Most of the Myanmar migrant workers said that they had to pay huge amount of money to get a job in Thailand as they entered through illegal way. Although the Thai government has granted the equal labor rights for Myanmar workers with Thai workers, Myanmar workers have not seen noticeable improvement until now. They are also expecting more secure working environment in Thailand and emergence of more employment opportunities in the home country. Reported by 11 Media.